So coming through, before we come back, uh, and I'm very keen to switch to the positive in a few moments in terms of your faith and, and Christ and the Bible, um, evil and suffering is the other big one. It's probably the biggest uh, uh, faith blocker of all, although perhaps in our modern world, it's uh, more and more a case of, uh, well, I just don't like I just don't like it, so I won't ah. leave. That's, this is the age of, I guess, psychological man. If it doesn't feel right, then it can't be right. There are no absolutes. But nonetheless, evil and suffering is a big one. And I'd be interested in your perspectives on that. You, you hear people say that particularly uh, the Abrahamic God is all-powerful and all-knowing uh, and all-good. And you've just made a reference to, uh, to that yourself, the locus of all good things. Yes. Um, now, there's the atheistic argument from evil, and it basically runs that if there is such a God, and I, look, I don't want to sound unsympathetic about this, it's a big challenge. Evil is a big problem. Uh, just as I described uh, exists then, uh, there, there'd be no evil or, or suffering, but there is a lot of evil and suffering uh, in the world. Therefore, uh, there can't be a God or certainly not a Christian God. <laughs> so where do you, where do you where do philosophers in general come out on that question of suffering, and where do you, where do you land? Well, historically, for centuries, uh, atheistic philosophers have defended the view that the existence of the suffering and evil in the world is logically incompatible with the existence of God. And now, on the contemporary scene, this has really changed. Virtually no one defends the logical version of the problem of evil anymore. And the reason is that it lays upon the shoulders of the atheist a burden of proof that is so heavy that no one has been able to sustain it. The atheist would have to prove that there is no logically possible reason that God could have for permitting the evil and suffering in the world. And no one can prove such a thing. Mm. So those who do defend the problem of evil today have retreated from the logical version of the problem to the so-called probabilistic version of the problem, where the claim is that given the evil and suffering in the world, it's improbable that God exists, if not impossible. And the difficulty with this version of the problem is that it makes probability judgments that are simply beyond our ability. There is no basis for thinking that if God has morally sufficient reasons for permitting the evil and suffering in the world, that these should be evident to me. For example, um, every event that occurs in human history sends a ripple effect through history such that God's morally sufficient reasons for permitting it might not emerge until centuries from now, perhaps in another country. Uh, an illustration of this would be the so-called butterfly effect in contemporary physics. It's been shown that the fluttering of a butterfly's wings on a twig in West Africa can set in motion forces that will eventually produce a hurricane over the Atlantic Ocean. And yet no one watching that little butterfly on the branch could possibly predict such an outcome. These kinds of probability judgments are just beyond our capacity. And similarly, when we see some instance of suffering and evil in the world, we are simply not in a position to say with any sort of confidence, God probably doesn't have a morally sufficient reason for permitting that to occur. A second point that needs to be made here is that when one's talking about probabilities, then you've also got to consider on the other side of the scale, what is the probability that God does exist? And here I would offer uh, multiple considerations that I think make it quite probable that there is in fact a transcendent creator and designer of the universe, despite any improbability that the suffering in the world might throw upon the existence of God. Thank you for watching this episode. We appreciate your support. If you value vital conversations like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel there and also click the notification bell to stay up to date with new releases.